Now going back to our cinematic lighting formula to fill in an important gap. The fill light and how it helps to set a contrast ratio. So far the only fill light in our scene was the bounce from our main light. If we wanted to reduce the overall contrast and fill in the shadows ever so slightly, we could go into the environment settings and boost the environment light strength. The fill lights are usually placed at the complementary angle to the key light to change the contrast of the lighting, but here we can get away with the omnidirectional environment light. And I would also warm up its tone, uh, because I imagine this room to be uh, of a warmer color due to the sunlight reflected and also implying uh, the additional bounce from the table. In this case, a solid color for the environment is more than enough to control the fill, uh, but if we wanted to make it fancier, we could have used one of the environments, let's say from Polyhaven, which I love. You can choose from many different 360 degrees spherical high dynamic range panoramas, all of them are free, and we will definitely explore this more sophisticated way of controlling the ambient light, among other things, in the next chapter. So that again was a teaser. Alright, uh, when the key light was our only light source, some part of the scene simply didn't receive any exposure. After adding the fill light though, uh, these underexposed shadowy areas can be well filled in, and that is essentially how we control the light versus dark contrast. Keeping the fill light pretty low leads to a dramatic change in exposure between lit and shaded parts. Something like 10 to 1 or 15 to 1. Such dramatic contrast between key and fill is called low key lighting. On the other end of the spectrum, the fill light can become so strong that it can virtually eliminate all the shadows or at least achieve much lower contrast ratios, something like 2 to 1. That's called the high key lighting. So ultimately, it is all about increasing or decreasing the contrast ratio for the chiaroscuro contrasty look or on the other hand for the high key low contrast look or any number of stops in between. You decide. My take on the balance between key and fill in this case is to aim for a medium contrast, maybe leaning towards the dramatic side of the spectrum, slightly towards low key look.